All right, to give you an example of what a real life Tetris-like career path or life path can look like, I'm going to give you basically a five-minute quick overview of my own personal professional life. And it goes like this. When I was in college, I wanted to, I started out thinking I was going to be an English major and a Spanish minor. Part of the Spanish minor was a study abroad program in Spain, which was really cool. I was excited about that. But to get into that program, you had to take a test and pass it. Long story short, I failed that test. Because I failed that test, I couldn't go on that program, and it basically really hurt my chances of becoming a Spanish minor. So I made a switch. I decided that based on um, an animal behavior class I had taken that I really, really liked, I was going to become a biopsychology and animal behavior major. Um, and what that did is it made me look instead from Spain, I decided I was going to go to Tanzania, which is in East Africa. It's known for having um, really amazing um, animal and wildlife to study. So I went on a program there and ended up studying spiders. Because of my studying of spiders, I'm actually um, in an, uh, uh, the African arachnid database as uh, one of the prime experts on Tanzanian spiders. Um, not because I'm amazing, but because there's no one that really did that before. Um, but anyway, so that was a really weird switch within... You know, really about five months time, I went from being the Spanish miner that was going to be living in Spain to becoming a, an expert on Tanzanian spiders. Because of that, though, that program was so advanced that I actually got double credit for it. And it ended up letting me um, basically graduate early and save a ton of money on my college tuition, which was really, really helpful and important. Um, on top of that, because of my psychology experience, after I finished up in Tanzania, which I spent actually some extra time there, I came back to the States and I got a job in a psychology research lab. Now, what I found out pretty soon working in a psychology research lab is that that job wasn't really for me. I didn't love it. Um, it was kind of uh, lonely and quiet. I didn't really get to interact with people um, and I really didn't like my boss. So I sought through for a year because I think you need to do anything for a year. Um, work-wise before you can make any sort of decisions about um, if it's the right fit for you. Sometimes it's even longer. Um, I realized that while I was working at this job, I really liked tutoring on my free time. So I was actually spending all day at work, bored and not very excited or motivated, and then getting excited about volunteering my free time after work to do even more work for free, tutoring uh, students at um, kind of an after-school program. I like that so much I decided, you know what, this feels a lot better for me. This is what I really like doing. I'm pretty good at it. So then I got work at uh, coordinating an after-school program, um, which led me to getting some connections so that I became a teacher. I was a math teacher. I loved it. Um, I did it for several years. I was getting better. I really loved the kids I was working with. But then my grandmother passed away. Now, my grandmother is Chinese. I'd always told her, hey, I'm going to go back to China at some point. Um, to kind of build that connection, never really done it. I didn't speak Chinese, um, at least not to any real extent. And that led me to decide, you know what, I need to, to go to China for my family. So I stopped teaching. Um, I moved to China, to Shanghai specifically. That's what this picture is. And I ended up getting a job at an ed tech, uh, a, a gaming company that was making games, uh, educational games for primary school students. During that, I learned how to code. I was doing all that. I lived there for several years. But in the meantime, I met someone that I fell in love with. She is now my wife. Um, and so eventually it led to me moving back to the U.S. Um, I went to graduate school for school leadership. Um, I wanted to get back in the schools and kind of combine my technology experience with schools again, which led me to my current job in the Bay Area. I'm making these videos. I'm doing this job that I'm doing. There's a lot more to it. There's ways that my job have changed even since I moved to the Bay Area. There's things that have changed because I moved to the Bay Area because my wife got a job here. Right? There's all these other pieces that are constantly happening that change the life path that I thought I was on. Right? Something changes and we keep moving. I don't regret any of it. I'm really excited about what I'm doing. But I wanted to do this as an example of the ways that your life alters and your career path changes all the time based on little things that kind of happen, pop up, realizations you have. This is what real life is actually like. There is no straight line, and that is okay. But we need to keep that in mind and just get ourselves in a mindset where we're ready to handle those life changes and make the best of it.